Hi there, your computer friend Connie here. How do you find out if your notebooks are getting too big? In fact, maybe they're slowing your OneNote down a little bit. Well, let me show you how to do that. So whether your notebooks are for yourself or they're shared with a group of people, we can still find out the size of them. And so when we talk about notebooks for yourself, we're talking about notebooks that are saved on OneDrive. And that's because you went to the file menu in OneNote and you created a new notebook that way, specifying OneDrive as the location. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to go over to the notebook area on the left hand side and if for some reason you don't have this notebook showing on the left hand side here what i'd like you to do is go to the very top where your notebook name is and then if you hover there there will be this thumbtack so you want to click on the thumbtack i'm going to unpin my notebook and then you'll see what i mean by this unpin it so right now it just shows my marketing notebook is the one i have open so if i hit the drop down there then I see all list of my notebooks that I have open and I can just simply say pin it so I can see my notebooks again. Okay, so now we're gonna right click on the notebook uh, that we're curious about the size of and we're gonna go to properties. And unfortunately, this is not telling us the size of our notebook, but it is telling us the location. And that's really all I want you to find out here is where is this notebook residing right now? So it's telling me my location of the marketing notebook here is in the OneDrive. So let's just go check out one more and then we'll go find out the size. If I go to personal, I'm gonna right click on personal and then go to properties and OneDrive again. So I did expect definitely the personal one to be there, but let me find one that is maybe not on OneDrive just so you can see the difference. So content marketing, let's click right click on that one. And as I'm hovered on the notebook name, it does give me an idea of where the notebook resides. It's telling me mission marketing general. So that is a mission marketing is a team I have. General is a channel I have, but let's just right click and see that information in there. So if I go to properties and again, location is mission marketing arrows general. So that's in the team called mission marketing. So that's how you find out the location. Now let's go to those locations and let's find out the size of these notebooks. Okay. So I am uh, starting with the content marketing notebook. I'm in my mission marketing team and within Microsoft teams, I'm in the general channel and I'm in files and in files is where I see content marketing. So let me just maximize this. Unfortunately, it's still not showing me a file size, even though I have that column showing. So I do have to go to details to find out, well, what is the size of this file? So I'm gonna just check mark this file and then details is the little circle at the top right with an eye in it. That's your details pane. And again, not giving us the answer right away. We have to hunt for it. So I go down to more details at the bottom here and that's where I finally see the size of this notebook. Okay, so a little bit of work to find it, find it, but I have the size. And what I want you to be watchful for is if your notebook size is at close to a gig or at a gig or more, you should really consider breaking up that notebook into other notebooks and other sections within those notebooks. Uh, one gig is really too big for a notebook. It might slow down the one note that you're working with. Okay, so that's a shared notebook that was made in Teams. I'm gonna go now to OneDrive, uh, which is where the other two notebooks resided. All right, I'm in OneDrive now and I uh, just have the OneNote area showing on the left so we can remember which notebook we're looking for. We're looking for personal and marketing. So, and there's a lot more actually, but if I'm, I'm in my OneDrive, I'm in my files and in there I see marketing notebook and I see personal and I see a whole bunch of other notebooks as well, by the way. So let me just maximize this. And once again, Microsoft is not telling us the file size of this notebook so we have to go to that details area so we're just going to click on the file itself and details this time is spelt out the word details at the top right not a little i so i'm going to click on that and then at the bottom once again i have to go to more details and that's where i finally see the size so 412 megabytes for the marketing notebook so it's getting it's getting up there in size isn't it so let's go to personal now and I'm just gonna uncheck marketing and personal because I still have the details pane open on the right. So that's kind of a cool way to do it is just keep this panel open on the right side so you can go from one notebook to another to check out the size of it. So just saying this one is 785. And by the way, the reason I'm doing this video is because I found my personal notebook to be over a gig. So I have moved sections of this notebook out and I've created more notebooks. Uh, so one of those notebooks being recipes, rather than having my recipes in my personal notebook, I made a recipes notebook. So I'll go to recipes now so you can see 
the details of that one. So 229 megs, so quite big. All right, so check out those notebook sizes. Make sure you're under a gig, uh, as much under as you can get, and maybe take this time to clean up your notebooks a bit and move things around. If you need help in learning how to move sections around to a new notebook, please watch my other video on how to do just that. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.